Hello binomial theorem fans. We are going to do some expansions today and we're going to start with this what looks relatively mild expansion 5 minus 2y to the third. If you've if you've researched your binomial theorem or paid attention in class, we now know that that we can do this through a process of expansion and I'm going to use there's a lot of ways to talk about combinations. Combination NR is often written as, and this is the way your calculator likes it, NCR. And there's also a notation like this. And just for the sake of space, I'm going to use this form. So to expand this binomial to the third, I'm going to be interested in the exponent and my first term is going to be combination 3 0 times our full allotment of fives that would be 5 to the third times and you wouldn't necessarily have to enter this term but I think it helps us see what's going on our negative two y's but zero of those. Now here's an important thing to remember as you're going. These two entries right here, our exponents as we're expanding, should always be adding up to our three or our three exponent here. These guys should always add up to that as we expand. Second term becomes c 3, 1. And then we reduce our 5's. 5 to the second as we increase our negative 2 y's. Negative 2 y to the first. And we continue on on that. So our following term would be C or combination 3, 2, decrease our 5's, 5 to the first, increase our negative 2 y's, negative 2 y to the second. Notice again, our exponents still add up to our 3. And we exhaust this with our final term, C3, 3, 3. We're no longer using 5, so 5 to the 0th is 1. We wouldn't have to include that there. But our full allotment of negative 2y's. And now we just have a little cleaning up here. To find C3, 0, C3, 1, C3, 2, C3, 3, we can go through the combination process, but we can also use the third row of Pascal's triangle as well. Um, C3, 0 in a real-world problem means how many groups of zero can I choose from three? It's just one, but Pascal's triangle reveals that as well. So our first term becomes one times five to the third, 125 times negative two y to the zeroth, one. Plus our second term, c three one is three. How many groups of one can I choose? from 3. 3 times 5 to the second, 25 times 1 negative 2y plus our third term c3 2 is also 3 times a single 5 but negative 2y squared, positive 4y squared. Plus, C3, 3, how many groups of 3 can I choose out of a group of 3? Just 1. Times 5 to the 0th, 1. Times, again, the full allotment of negative 2y's, negative 2y to the 3rd, negative 8y cubed giving us a final simplified result of 100 
25. Here I have a plus times a minus, so minus 3 times 25 times 2, 150. Why? Next term, 3 times 5 times 4, or 15 times 4, plus 60. Y squared. And our final term, 1 times 1 times negative 8, so minus 8y cubed. So there is our binomial expansion, simplified.